Thursday, kind of a rare astronomical event called an occultation, which is where one body passes in front of another. In this case, Triton, biggest moon around Neptune, is going to pass in front of a bright star in the background. And when it does, kind of like an eclipse, it's going to allow the scientists to learn about Triton's atmosphere. They're going to measure the light from the star as it wraps around Triton through Triton's atmosphere. And this is going to occur at a almost a particular instant down to a few seconds out northeast of Bermuda. So no ground-based telescope is going to see it. You need to have an airplane. Um, we can fly out there, be in the right place at the right time to get this event. Our, our job is to get the airplane and the telescope where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. We need to do that safely. We're responsible for the people in the back as well as this basically billion dollar telescope or airplane. It's a one of a kind. A lot of what Sophia's learning is learning about how the universe was formed and then after stars were formed, how planets were formed, um, just basic science that teaches us about the, the world. Um, some of the stuff closer to home, this event of, with Triton will teach us about a moon around a planet that's actually here in our solar system. Uh, a lot of times we're looking for water because life as we know it is based on water and any place that has water we think maybe there's the potential for life. This is the first time we've traveled to a different base in the U.S. in order to capture an event like this. Um, we also deploy the airplane down to New Zealand every summer. Um, our summer in the Northern Hemisphere, winter down there, so better observing, more hours of darkness, uh, better weather. Thunderstorms can kind of put a damper on what we do. So, But this is the first time we've said, hey, there's an event out there. We can't fly out of Palmdale. It's just a little too far to get to. But if we deploy to the East Coast, you now we can go out and get it. So maybe in the future we'll come back here or go to other bases around the country where we can get to different events that they can't be seen by a, a normal ground-based telescope.